Here we are, another beautiful day at Ride Auto, another beautiful truck at Ride Auto. This time a 2008 Ram 2500 Heavy Duty. This is the Mega Crew Mega Cab with the biggest cab that you can get. It's a short bed, four wheel drive SXT trim, and it's got the 6.7 liter Cummins high output turbo diesel. As you can see, for the most part, the body's in pretty nice shape. That's the purpose of this video. We're going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. For the most part, I see a lot of beauty. One, the fact that it's a clean title vehicle. It's got the uh, nice chrome grill, the bug deflector, fog lights, tow hooks, engine block heater. There's no hail on the vehicle. I'll show you the condition of the tires. Can't fly heavy roll tires. It's got the telescopic toy mirrors. It's got some chrome accents right here on the bottom and the vent shades on top. It's got power windows, locks, infinity sound system, steering audio controls. It's got the shift on the fly, four wheel drive, and it's a six passenger. Take a look back here. A lot of room back here. The seats actually recline back, and you have a center console. Look at all that space that you get back there. This is the biggest cab in the world, folks. Take a look under the hood. It does have a tear on the driver's seat. That's about $150 fix. Take a look under the hood. It's a reliable 6.7 liter Cummins inline six, no blow by. New batteries, fresh oil change. I've actually driven this vehicle. I took it home. This thing runs and drives fantastic mechanically. It does have a dummy light. You can have that scan at a Roco. Napa or O'Reilly across the street. Oh, I did show you that. Some dings, minor uh, scratches here and there, such as here. Clean running diesel. Frame is uh, pretty solid. Does have the gooseneck hip, so if you want to pull a trailer, this would be ideal. Here's the other side of the vehicle. Look how wide that door swings open. Here are the rockers. Now this is an out-of-state vehicle, that's why the body is going to be cleaner than most of the ones that you're going to see uh, on the roads here in Minnesota. Now it does have some rust under the flares, but I wouldn't say anything that would be major. Let's hop in. Here's a cluster of the vehicle. No misfire, no hesitation. Again, clean running diesel, doesn't smoke. There's no blow by as I showed you. Shift on the fly four wheel drive. There it's working, it's locked in right there. AC blows cold. There's your power rear slider. These are your windows, come all the way down. Now, this is a factory uh, CD player, but it's for one that's a Laramie model. The screen did work before, but it stopped working. I think uh, we took it to detail, they must have sprayed it. So there's the other issue, but the radio does work. It's about a $200 fix. The transmission goes from gear to gear without any delays. Now let's take you on a short test drive, show you how the vehicle drives mechanically. Because mechanically, the vehicle is solid. Front end is tight, four wheel drive works. Here are some of the other trucks that we have. Ford, Dodge, Chevy, the big three, we love them all. Again, the AC blows cold. The Infinity Sound works real nice. So we love trucks just as much as you do. And I think Dodge has done a fantastic job of uh, building the Ram the way that people want it. I mean, this is the only truck that you can get right now with a manual transmission. Ford and Chevy stopped that a while ago. But with Dodge, you can still do that and they're extremely hard to find we we have gotten them in the past but the point that i'm trying to make is that you they make unique vehicles i mean look at look at all the space that you get here it's crazy all the options that they give you the inline six is one of the best six cylinder diesels that you're going to find matter of fact that's the only one ford and chevy does not offer you that they're both v8s some of the big rigs that you see on the road well most of the big rigs that you see on the road they're all inline six cylinders and they're probably built by Cummins or CAT and there's some other names, Detroit Diesel. But if you want a true heavy duty truck for pulling and hauling, I think Dodge has uh, 
nailed it on the head. I mean, I, I love them all. I like Ford, Chevy, Dodge. I like them all, but hearing it from our customers, uh, they're brand specific. So you can't you can't take a Dodge guy and try to put him in a Chevy. And we would never consider doing anything like that unless you decided to that that's something you want to do. But we're getting off topic here. We're trying to talk about this particular vehicle and its condition. Mechanically, again, I would say the engine is strong. Transmission shifts nice. AC works. All the electronic components on the vehicle works minus the screen that just went off. Turbo spools up nice. You can hear it. Transmission shifts great. No issues there. So it's definitely a solid truck with only 177. 552 good miles for the year financing is available any additional questions requests you may have we'll be happy to help you we're located on highway 13 right next to our mcdonald's across from Brunswick. thank you